I'm Matt Siegel from the Moorhead State Athletic Department, and joining us now, the head men's basketball coach here at MSU, Sean Woods. We're at the annual athletics golf outing at Eagle Trace. Coach Woods, great to see you. I know you've been busy. People say, well, what are you doing the months of June and July? And you want to sarcastically tell them absolutely nothing. But today, specifically, is a very busy day for you guys. Well, it's been a very busy week. You know, we had two big-time recruits, uh, important pieces to our, our puzzle on campus. Uh, one was Monday and Tuesday, and then we had one yesterday and today. And... Uh, you know, both of them went well, and hopefully, well, we got one already, and hopefully, we can get the next one. You uh, had been hired last year, mid-May, and uh, this athletic uh, golf outing happened about two weeks later. And I know there are lots of names and faces to figure out, but hopefully, the second time around, you're uh, seeing some old friends, but still meeting some new ones. Well, no doubt about it. I'm feeling more comfortable, you know, especially at this event, seeing everyone, uh, knowing who they are, and things like that. But this is a great event, helping out our athletic program, and. Uh, more, more way to bring people together and to play a good game, good round of golf. Talk how important it is not only to support your student athletes by buying tickets and attending games, but I know the financial support is really needed at schools like Moorhead State, whether it be through sponsorships or any other avenues, private fundraising too. Well, without a doubt, we're a low resource institution, so everything that we can get counts, and we got to be creative to be able to sustain financially to be able to compete with some of the schools, especially in our conference, who has uh, a little bit better means of, of, of getting financial resources. So, you know, I think Brian Hutchison and, and uh, Brian and uh, everyone around in our athletic program are, are putting their heads together and becoming creative enough to at least bring something to, to the table to, to give us an opportunity to raise some funds. You know, it's, it's never enough, especially in this financial crisis going around the country. But, you know, our athletic program still has to continue, and without funds, we can't. I know the first season in Moorhead State for you was kind of filled with some ups and downs. There are lots of good things. I know some things you want to improve forward, but moving forward. But uh, I guess the one thing you told us is you saw a lot of improvement in, in uh, guys just getting better and figuring out your style of play throughout the season. Hopefully that can be carried uh, into this upcoming season. Oh, without a doubt. You know we got some important pieces coming back that I'm I'm, I'm very very looking very look I mean looking forward to. And then uh, we got some pieces that we've signed, some new pieces that we're looking forward to that can really help us get to what we're trying to be. I know you and your assistant coaches are really relentless on the recruiting path. You've signed some talented Division I transfers who will be able to help you moving forward. And we've got all those releases on MSUEagles.com. But like you said, some guys who can step in and produce for you right away. Well, without a doubt, their experience, been at the high major level. Uh, they've been in the fire. And not only that, they're good kids. You know what I mean? They're not just transfers because of some crazy things happen. Just they weren't comfortable there and they wanted to go someplace more uh, intimate, than the corporate situations at the bigger schools, and we're fortunate enough to, to be able to attract them. Sean Woods, the head men's basketball coach from Moorhead State with us today on MSUEagles.com. And coach, I know that the month of July is extremely important for recruiting purposes, getting out and, and not only promoting the program, but evaluating talent too. No doubt about it, and also prospecting. So, um, you know, our job never ends. You know, I haven't had a vacation yet <laughs> since I took this job a, a year ago, uh, two weeks ago. So, uh, you know, but that that's you got to be that relentless to to get this place where I'm trying to get it to to be one of the top mid majors in the United States. I've seen a notif noticeable difference in the work ethic of some of the guys you've brought in. Guys like Karam Ashore, Brent Arrington, they're in the gym all the time, putting up shots, working out. Just talk about that, and hopefully it'll it'll be contagious in a positive way. Well, those are the type of guys we want to recruit. You know, guys that love the gym, who wants to be great. You know, my motto is if, if you know whether you're a pro or not, it, I want to coach guys that want to be pros. Then they understand understand what hard work and determination and the things that we put them through, uh, they, they, they get that. You know, if you get a guy that basketball is really not that important to him, then it's hard to motivate him to get him to a championship level mentally and physically. So, you know, we pick and choose who we get. And right now, our best bet right now is getting high major transfers that know how to do it and still want to succeed and reach their dreams. Just got to go someplace else to do it. The most important question of the day is, how's the family? I know the little man's been in the gym, and for an 11- or 12-year-old, he's pretty darn good. Well, yeah, and, uh, you know, I've been balancing that. If I'm not working out with my guys or trying to recruit, I'm chasing him down all over the country with AAU games, and also i got to work him out just as much as I work our guys out. So, um, you know, it, it, my, my life is grand. It's full of basketball. I have a, a wife who understands and is all in, so I, I'm very, very fortunate. And Martise did a lot of work for you this past year. I know he's figuring out the business too. Yeah, he's figuring it out, and he, you know, he wants to be a coach, and you know, he's starting from the ground up, and he's doing all the grunt work. So uh, he's by the time he gets to, you know, being a full-time assistant somewhere, he's being learned to, to appreciate, you know, all the nuances of being a, a college basketball coach. 
That's the head men's basketball coach in Moorhead State, Sean Woods. I'm Matt Siegel. We'll have more from the athletics golf outing here on MSUEagles.com.